Hey guys, it's Tech Rainier and welcome back to another video. Today, I got a fun video for you guys because today we're gonna see how many Chrome tabs you can open with 128 gigabytes of RAM. That is right. If you guys do not know, we did a video like this a while back from my brother where he upgraded to 64 gigabytes of RAM. So we tested to see how many Chrome tabs you can open. And we found out the number was pretty astronomical to the very least. So my question is now, if it was already stupid already, how much further can we take that? You know what I'm saying? This time around, instead of 64 gigs, we have now double that 128, which I actually got from my actual streaming PC because I was having some RAM problems. I did a full review video on that if you're interested in, in the RAM kit we're using here today, which is the Corsair Vengeance 128 gigabyte kit, a 32 megahertz. I was originally trying to get 36, but I couldn't find stock anywhere. So that's what we're gonna be using for our testing. Now, in order for us to test this for ourselves, what we're gonna use is of course Google Chrome mic we have here. And what we need to do is click, click Control T. And by clicking Control T, we can actually create a new tab with it, which is pretty nice. Now, in order to replicate this even further, what we're gonna do is do Control T. Then we're gonna hit my USB switch on the top here. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna sync it to be locked in place. So now when we go back to the stream PC, which you see here, we're gonna click on YouTube. It'll just keep opening up apps on YouTube. So you can see here, like the tab opened up in a different panel altogether, which is cool to see. So literally what we can do, they're spamming this in order to get a bajillion YouTube tab open until we actually start running out of RAM, which I don't know how many tabs we'll need in order to get to that. So we're off to a pretty good start. We've already opened a bunch of YouTube tabs, which you can see here. And we've used so far 27 gigabytes of RAM out of 128, which we're going to keep opening up more of these. And we're just going to keep going this until we get an absolute stupid amount. You can actually see we're somewhat lagging now because how many tabs are fucking open because, uh, yeah, it's not even like processing all the tabs. I'm actually kind of curious to see, like, we just opened up so many tabs. Like, how's the how's it reacting to it? 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we opened like a bajillion tabs and we're now at 32. Yo, I, I gotta keep going. I wonder how many tabs I can get to this point. But it's like lagging, which you can see right now. Like most of them were really responsive at the beginning, but now they've really slowed down. If I click through these, I should be able to use them, right? And give me like a general idea what's going on with them. It's funny how each of the YouTube tabs have somewhat the same thing on their pages, but some of them are different. It just depends on like the video context, but actually i think all these are exactly the same panel which is kind of crazy to think about also just one quickly mention i have finally cleaned my desktop which you guys commented about one time about me having my desktop absolutely atrocious where i like photoshop files everywhere i finally fixed that so now it looks super freaking clean especially the wallpaper i just know after i cleaned it i walked to the studio came back from lunch and i was just caught off guard by it because i wasn't ready for how clean it was i don't know it just kind of surprised me but now that it's loaded a little bit more we're now using 35 gigabytes of ram so how much further can we go with this? We're just gonna keep opening up YouTube tabs. I just know we're gonna probably break it after a certain point. Just gotta keep going with that intensive clicking until we absolutely crash the PC. You know, you just hear a click for a second and be like, let me go even faster though. That's the real question. <laughs> okay, so I accidentally just muted myself, which is amazing. Did a great job me. Uh, so I opened a bunch of more tabs on a new tab altogether and we're past 50 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, problem is that since <laughs> they're just oh my god uh the, the since the tabs are catching up they, they like it didn't load for like a minute and there was bugging all of a sudden it just exploded what you saw there like all the tabs just opened on up and now it just literally just like keep going it's literally the same thing as we had earlier here on the obviously one where you see it's a bajillion tabs but now it's on this one and it's kind of just ridiculous i'm gonna be really curious to see how, like how it feels once we have it like this when the ram's practically maxed out compared to like closing all the tabs and seeing seeing what it feels like afterward because i feel like it's gonna be very satisfying you know what i'm saying wait hold up oh my god <laughs> wait hey yo so look we got a bajillion youtube tabs here bajillion youtube tabs there can i get this one to drag down too oh my god it actually worked and then we just have the bugged one <laughs> also if you guys are wondering why it says my o drive and e drive are at 100 percent usage uh try answering my dropbox files over to my o drive <laughs> and he, he's yelling for help because of the fact that he's transferring what is like four terabytes of footage over so uh you can see why he's like in shock right now Okay, so I'm having problems still, still not loading. So my question is, is if we're already using 64 gigabytes of RAM, I know for a fact, if I open three of my large Photoshop files, it takes around more than 20 gigabytes, maybe 30. But I'm kind of curious to see like, in comparison to the Chrome tabs out, what we've opened, 
like how about the Photoshop files? Will they like be that big? Okay, so we just opened another large file. Pretty sure I have a few more loading in the background too. So we're now at 98. Oh my God. We're about to hit 100 gigabytes of RAM in use. That's unfortunate. I'm not able to get the Google Chrome tabs to work for it. So I was like, oh, thinking maybe, maybe we get the Google Chrome to it, but they're so behind that it's just like not working. Like I'm trying to use a different application to kind of replicate the RAM usage. Slowly about it, dude, literally almost 100 gigabytes of RAM. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, PC. Oh, we know you're going to hit it at some point. Just hit it, hit a hundred gigabytes of ram i'm more concerned i'm not gonna i'm not gonna look at this and it's gonna hit it and i'm like no i missed it when it opened it you know what i'm saying i just know all my oh yo 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 we just had 100 gigabytes of ram usage on it finally we actually did it 100 gigabytes of ram i have 128 it's not with all chrome tabs but pretty good uh, my question is are we gonna get the rest i did realize one thing though that might be a problem is that i have a bunch of these Photoshop files open and Google crab tone Google crab what Google Google Chrome tabs open and the big thing of it is is that I've noticed when blue screens happen they mess up my Photoshop files so I might want to stop it from hitting the exact amount but I'm also kind of curious to see what exactly happens ah <sighs> this is a real pickle Okay, so we had a problem. Uh, the Photoshop files is no longer opening, which is fine. We're now at 121 gigabytes of RAM to 119. I'm kind of curious to now see how responsive everything is. So we can now go back and click through tabs, which is pretty cool. Not like super busted. It's not super responsive, but hey, that's what happens if you open 128 gigabytes of, uh, of RAM Chrome tabs. Can't really can i drag this around and like show you guys like stack i kind of want to see like they all look like okay i can't really stack it that well to be honest with you because it's kind of like near impossible so my question is now let's see what happens if you close all these uh tabs how satisfying this is so let's just close all this first it is going down not that fast but pretty fast now let's just close all the photoshop files too on top of it Let's see how fast it goes down. So we close all the Photoshop files. It is, it is, you can just literally see it drop in use. So we literally went from like 120, one gigabytes of RAM to now sitting at less than 40 like gigabytes and still dropping. Just not that fast because the Chrome tabs are very slow and not that responsive. Okay, we dropped it down. We forced closed in task manager. We're now only at 17 gigabytes of RAM in use compared to where we were earlier. So, uh, can you open 128 gigabytes of RAM in Google Chrome? Yes. However, we have found out one thing though, that at a certain point, it becomes super, super like laggy to open more tabs to the point where it's like kind of like playing catch up. Uh, so Photoshop files make up for that. If you really want to open a bunch of RAM, you open a few Photoshop files and then I think we opened like 12 of them and it's on large files and it started like drawing out. So, hey, that's what you have with 128 gigabytes of RAM. I really want to like, Test some more stuff with this though. So if you guys have anything you want to see me test 128 gigabytes of RAM with, let me know in the comments down below. Because I'd be kind of down to make a video just dedicated like using 128 gigabyte RAM and like how what can you actually do with that? You know what I'm saying? But if you guys enjoyed my video here today, make sure to smash like button, get subscribed to miss some future tech content, and I'll see you around for the one tech rant out.